Cosplay World, we're gonna have a quick look at how I made the staff for the director in the series is the, yes, the Adventure Zone. Um, and it's a pretty straightforward staff. Uh, everything, it looks all fancy and fantasy-like, except for the bottom where we put a cane foot because cane foots are pretty nice to not fall down with. Um, but uh, it's largely, let's see, the dowel rod there, the PVC pipe you could see, a uh, bit of Bondo to transition them together. The gem, of course. Uh, some wiring and lighting that were recovered from a toy. Paint and a bit of leftover scrap fabric for the grip um, varnish. And I think that's about it. So, we're going to be cutting the top of the PC pipe and sort of heating it up and spreading out like a flower when you heat up PC pipe and it gets soft and you can shape it nicely. We are then going to be adding a few more bits of plastic to the edge to uh, add more, I guess, striations, more petals. I'm not sure exactly where I want to go with this. More bark uh, for this look because the, I think there were like five or six different petals and there wasn't quite enough to make it look good. Um, to make the dowel rod fit into the PC pipe, we're simply going to sand and chip away until we have a nice kind of connection piece, and uh, that's all there really is to it. It's not super fancy. We don't need to get any hardware from the uh, from like the pipe sections, the plumbing section. We just make sure they fit into it, and that's usually good enough. It's not like it's bearing weight or anything. Uh, we put a bit of wiring and lighting from a lightsaberish toy. It's like a rave lightsaber toy and we stuck it in there and we just had to make sure the button was accessible. It's pretty common for me to grab a toy and do this because it's way cheaper, it's like two dollars? Yeah, you can't beat that. If you buy like all the custom equipment, like a single LED could cost a dollar. So now nah, just let the someone in the factory do all the wiring for me, it's easy enough. Um, so we here are now, we have now smoothed out the transition between the uh, bits on the end to the pipe. It was a bit rough there. We want to make it look like it's grown and spread out and kind of split apart at the top there. So for the paint job we're going to be basing everything in white and then for the kind of wood texture we are going to be adding more and more brown until it starts or streaks of more and more brown until it adds more depth. Um, uh, streaking is the kind of way to make it look like wood, was it, wood grain. Um, and I'm using the, the paper towel there to clean up any sort of messes or imperfections because while the paint is wet, we can still fix all of that. We don't need to do multiple layers here. Although that could add more depth to it, I suppose. Eh. It, it's uh, just there to make sure I don't mess up or, and make sure I have a nice even texture there as well. Um, once we're done, we're going to be adding the wrap to the handle. This is going to hide where the pieces kind of stick together. And then we are going to uh, varnish it so it looks nice and finished like a good old cane. Oh, also the, yeah, the gem. Yeah, we're going to have to glue that in place. It's uh, not super fancy. <laughs> um, I'm going to go more into depth in the video on Final Cusp Core for the wiring and a bit more on the paint and the transition. If that's something you're interested in, check it out. I hope you guys enjoy. Good times to all. Oh wait, uh, also the next video is going to be some big old ice wings. Yes, gigantic crystalline ice wings from I believe Toho Project. Um, I hope you guys check it out. Good times to all. Hey. Over at FinalCosmicCore.com, we have a ton more cosplay awesomeness. You should check it out. Wah!